Let me know if you guys can see the fish in this clip. Can you see it? He's hiding right there. What's going on everybody? I'm here at Spear America South Bay. I got my buddy Anthony Newell here today. And today we're gonna to be talking about some tips and tricks for you guys to catch some halibut. We're gonna be going over a couple different things with you guys today, including when to go, what to look for, and the different kinds of gear that you guys can use. And hopefully these tips can help you be more successful when you're going halibut hunting. All right guys, so you might be wondering when's the best time for me to go halibut hunting. Well, I'd say the best time for you to go halibut hunting is gonna be on the high tide. When the tide is rising, it pushes up bait in shallower. So a lot of the halibut will move in really shallow. I'm talking literally anywhere from one to four feet of water. Just don't be afraid to go and stick your nose in the sand and, and look for a couple pairs of eyeballs. Usually, your best bet, so timing, is gonna be the early morning or at nighttime, or around sunset or so. The halibut are more active in the early morning or at nighttime. They'll sit in the sand and uh, they kind of just don't move. So if you go at night, make sure you keep an eye out for them. Just sitting there in the sand, you might have some good luck. So you might be wondering when you go halibut diving, what do I need to look for to catch these fish? Well, first thing you're gonna to wanna to look for is eyeballs. That's always gonna be the one thing that will always be out of the sand that you can see. Uh, sometimes you will be able to see the outline of the jaw or the tail, but eyeballs are always gonna be uh, what you can see. Those big sandy divots, sandbar, stuff like that. Uh, they normally don't like to just sit on flat sand because it's harder for them to be hidden, easier for them to be hidden under those sandy divots where little bait fish and stuff can't see their eyeballs. Uh, so they swim right over and they nab those bait fish. It's definitely easier for them to go into one of those divots and get covered by the sand. Usually those divots are gonna be a little bit closer towards the shore. One to four foot zone, it's gonna be your money spot right there. All right guys, so I'm gonna pause right here because I want you to look at something real quick. So you can see this baby halibut that's sitting right here in the center of the screen. He's in the divots. Now this is a pretty small sized halibut, which I found a little bit of ways from shore. And as you can see, the divots are pretty small too, around the same size and width as this halibut is. So from inference, you can tell that the bigger fish are gonna sit in those bigger divots. So that's definitely something you wanna key in when you're looking for halibut at night specifically. During the day, they tend to bury themselves a little bit more, but at nighttime, you'll find them in these divots and uh, whether it's close to shore or near structure, kind of far away, uh, go ahead and keep an eye out for the larger size divots because obviously, as you can see, this little guy right here is sitting right in a perfect little slot. Those big guys are gonna find a perfect little slot for themselves as well and they're gonna get right up in there. So whether you find it close to shore, whether you find it near structure, or whether you find it kind of far away where the waves are breaking, uh, if it's a bit of a lower tide, that is gonna be where you wanna look. In addition to finding them up in the surf, you can also find them hugging structure, uh, anywhere with kelp, honestly. And you're gonna to wanna to look in these shallower parts. You look for breaks in the eelgrass with sand. If you find that sand, you might find some halibut. Along with the eelgrass beds, you can also find them hugging pier pilings, break walls, and other types of structure. So for halibut, uh, you're always going to want to be using a shorter gun since you're really hunting in that one to four foot zone. A big gun is going to be a real disadvantage for you. Something like this Patho 75 is really the perfect size. One thing you are going to want on your gun is an open muzzle. So you see how there's nothing covering the muzzle here. The reason for that is you're not shooting very far. When you have a closed muzzle like this, let's say I go to shoot, boom. Half the time the shaft doesn't even fully come out of the gun, so now if I, if I shot and it's a thrashing fish, it goes to swim away, boom, now you've got a bent shaft because it can't get out because it's trapped by the closed muzzle. So that's one thing, you just want to make sure you've got an open muzzle, short little gun, something like this Pathos 75 will do you perfect. That's actually a really good tip, I've never thought of that before with the, the closed tracker. Yep. Another great application to use when you're halibut hunting is a pole spear. There's a couple good brands out there. I'm holding an Epsilon in my hand right now. You can get these at Spear America. Another great brand that I would highly recommend is Gaku. They make multi-piece pole spears that are very, very good for uh, you know whatever you're hunting. Uh, they not only work for halibut, but many other types of fish as well. The pole spear is great because you can hold it and you'll have the band all the way up here with the grip. 
So you really, you know, you're holding this giant pole, but you have about this much space to swing around in front of you. It's very easy to kind of quick draw if you see something swimming away real quick. We talked about you going during the day in the morning. However, if you're gonna go at night for some halibut, you are gonna need a light. So, got a few different options here. You've got these little Spear Pro lights. These guys are just a little thousand lumen light. Uh, with about an hour or an hour and a half on each battery charge. This will do you just fine for going through the surf. If you wanted something that was maybe a little more versatile, uh, I do have the Tovatec Fusion as well. It's a 1500 lumen light and you can actually uh, twist the front to actually change the angle of the beam of the light. So if you're someone who likes to do halibut but also do some lobster diving, uh, these are going to be great because you can use that wide angle when you're going for lobsters so you're not scaring bugs with a really high beam light. And when you're going for halibut and you need a lot of light concentrated on one small spot that you're looking at, then you can change it to that narrow beam when you're looking for halibut. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully these tips can help you get some more halibut and have some good luck in the near future. If you guys have any more questions, please drop them in the comments below. And if you like the video, give it a like and uh, subscribe if you want. Turn on uh, post notifications. I'm going to be doing more spear fishing and fishing content in the future. And as always, check out the next video because it's going to be a banger. Thanks, guys.